Good evening, good evening. Welcome to the Katie Speaking Live True podcast. And I'm wondering, are you trustworthy? What about when you were 13? Were you trustworthy then? Or how about when you were 17? <laughs> were you trustworthy then? Well, this night we are continuing a live series all through the summer called Katie's Seventh Grade Prayer Journal. And the reason we're doing this is because um, I was invited to speak at a fellowship of Christian Athletes Club here in Nashville, where I got to share some stories, share my book. And um, one of the uh, parents there, or actually he's not a parent, one of the teachers there said, Katie, you really ought to do a podcast of the book. And I'm like, okay. So I decided to do it. And I'm so glad I did because now I'm realizing the power of the daily habit, even though, you know, there's this book and you can write in it on your own to connect with you on this platform every day or every other day, or whenever you're listening to this is so cool. It's so inspiring, right? If you've started your prayer journal habit, I would love to hear from you about that. Um, and I'm just riding the wave. I've had answered prayer after answered prayer beginning last Thursday night when I met with a teen. It was the eve of her 18th birthday. And she told me that she could not stop reading this book. And I was like, that is awesome. She said she loved it. And I was like, oh, that's great. That's exactly what I was hoping for, that it would just inspire her and help her to feel like she was not alone. So that's what I want for you too. And for the young people in your life, if you're not a young person yourself watching this, is I want to inspire you to connect on a deeper, more authentic level with the Lord. Um, he loves you and he's for you. So at the end of this podcast, I'm going to be sharing a truth with you. Actually, why don't I just flip it around and do that first? That's what I'm going to do tonight. Um, so there are five truths in the book and I love showing you the book. It's so cute. It has sunflowers on it. It's like my favorite one of my favorite flowers, sunflowers. And um, it's truth number five that we're sharing tonight or that I'm sharing tonight. And it says this, God cares about everything in your life and your world. God cares about everything in your life and your world. And the reason that matters is because when you believe that, you will have a richer more fulfilling, amazing relationship with the Lord. Um, and the scripture that goes with that is from Jeremiah 29 verses 11 through 13. And it says this, for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and the future. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me. And I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek with all of your heart. I will be found by you says the Lord. That's from the New International Version. So I love that verse. It was given to me when I was 13, actually on my 13th birthday, a pastor and his wife, my youth pastor and his wife wrote it in my birthday card. And so did a detective and his wife. They did a, like a group present and they all signed it together. And I've never forgotten it. And it's become my life verse. So um, that's why we journal our prayers because God cares about everything that we care about in our world. He cares about you. He wants to hear from you. So to inspire you today, this is all about, are you trustworthy? <laughs> so listen in as Katie describes a few things that she's going through and also about someone that she's observing and how they're not trustworthy. Here's what it says from July 14th. Dear God, even though you know, I felt terrible most of the day. I called Rachel in San Diego and she said the reason she didn't call was because her mom wouldn't let her. She liked my pictures, though. Her favorite photo was the one of the collapsed clothesline. <laughs> I guess I kind of knew she would like it. She likes funny things. Sandy's in the high school group for real now. I wonder if someone will let me in the high school group to visit sometimes, even though I'm only an uprising eighth grader. Now that I think about it, if I could... I think I would just go to the Thursday night meetings and then I can meet some people in the high school group. I guess I'll be there soon enough though. I pray that Christian, my brother's new braces don't hurt him too much. When I called to talk to him, Caitlin was over and so was her dad. I can tell that her parents don't trust her. It's sad and it's funny at the same time. It's sad because usually kids should have their the trust of their parents at age 17. And it's funny because I know she can't be trusted. 
Anyway, I pray for everybody and I hope I get some mail tomorrow. Thank you for helping me feel better. And I pray that I can get to sleep quickly and without waking up and that mom calls. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Oh, and thank you for helping me look for churches here in Albuquerque. The end. Ah, simple little prayers. So for you, when you go before the Lord and when you think about the relationships in your life, are you trustworthy now? Were you trustworthy when you were 17 or 13? And it really, this just makes me thank God that I was that kind of a girl, that I was wanting to be trustworthy, that I was looking around me to see who was trustworthy around me. And um, then by the time I was 17, I was a very trustworthy woman. And I'm just so grateful God did that for me. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. And don't forget to reflect on the person God has made you to be and who he's called you to be. And maybe pray about that. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.